What's up guys, my name is Commando Santa, and today we're going to embark on an amazing journey where we're going to create a theme park in Planet Coaster. Um, I've been playing Planet Coaster for way too long now. I've been pretty much playing it since it became a thing and I was able to play it. The game is absolutely fantastic, I recommend you check it out, but the customization options for this game, it just, you can go anywhere with it. You can go anywhere with your park and they're always updating different things. You can download different stuff that other people made, but regardless. Um, I really enjoy building games. Building games are my favorite thing. I played the crap out of Roller Coaster Tycoon as a kid. Um, I still play games like SimCity, City Skylines all the time. Factorio is one of the recent things I've been catching myself playing all the time now. And building games just hit a very good note with me because I have like this like particular OCD where I can spend so much time on a certain thing. And it really shows in this game. I'll spend my time like hours working on the perfect toilet system for these guys to just go take take a crap in. Like something that doesn't really matter in a theme park, but really if you come to think about it, it does matter, you know? Now, this game is notorious for getting that going on me, and I'll try my best to keep it down, but I'll put time lapses where I need to be, but this is going to be a fun journey. Um, I decided to start, I, I wanted to do a park in the Alpine kind of region, and I decided to do Sandbox just because it'll be easier. We don't have to worry about money at first. Maybe I'll do another one where we can worry about the money and everything, but the Alpine one is my favorite. I live in a place where... I live in New York State. We have a lot of hills, a lot of trees, and good skiing. Very good skiing. I'm an avid skier myself. Um, so I kind of wanted to replicate that, and the landscape in the background, as you can see, is just absolutely perfect. So I didn't want to just sit and start out in the, like the flat, normal, grassy, flatland area. It's just... I want to give myself something to work with and let my ideas flow as I'm working with it. So I decided to do two little mountains. I mean, they're not really mountains as comparatively to the mountains on the outside, but they're pretty tall and each of them will have their own little story to them. Um, but I added some good water and this will probably change. And I think I shot myself in the foot by but way too many trees. Um, cause if once we start building roller coasters that like go in between the trees and everything, we're going to have to delete all of them and replace them later, but that's fine. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, I added some water. I'm not sure how I want to keep the water or not. I'll probably change things to make it look a little different with like streams and stuff. We'll see. I kind of want to have a big lake, but I had just this idea in my head is like these two hills, these big, big hills, almost mountains on each side funneling kind of a nice big couple like pass going through the middle and then I really want like an alpine style train system going around the entirety of the park because I don't like the monorails I think they look really dumb and the trains in this game they're so great and they sound so nice and the little horns are toot the best it just, just makes me smile other than that, I really enjoy wooden roller coasters, and I figured this landscape would work perfectly with wooden roller coasters. Um, we can definitely have some steel ones that are very fast and go everywhere, but I want to keep kind of the theme of, I don't know, lodges, wooden structures, and maybe some like old and steel structures here and there. Um, I'm very excited to get started with this, so... I'm going to just let this play for a little bit, and I'll see you in episode one. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. 